Yeah, Goldston, you know, the Sikhs first arrived in Yuba City a century ago, and now their community has grown to one of the largest in the country, and they have this big celebration of their culture, and it's something they just want to share with the world. The spirit of the Sikh community is in the spotlight in Yuba City. Now I say the Punjabi community is the one that's the hub, the main hub at Yuba City. Home of the largest Sikh community outside of Punjab, India, and it becomes even larger with 100,000 people attending the three-day event. Every hotel, motel is booked. Every household around here has got five families that we're visiting, and that's why we can pull this off. Seattle, Canada, Bay Area and uh, Santa Valley. Tajander Calcutt says she looks forward to the festival every year, calling it a special Sikh family reunion. It means a lot to me. I get to see so many people I don't see on a normal basis. Um, and not just my family members, the whole community. Besides family, the festival focuses on faith with prayer in the temple that's in the center of the festival grounds. We have a good culture, spirit and uh, and it's a very safe community here for our Sikhs to be here and everyone come with me and learn about our religion. Others might say the focus is food. I love to eat. Jane and Perry Hayden of Live Oaks first attended the festival last year and loved the food. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Some of them are really, really hot. <laughs> it burned my stomach, in fact. A lot of sweets. Love it. To support the Sikhs like they support everyone else. And because it's fun, it's very calm, very peaceful. It's, it, it's just, it feels safe. That's why the Sikhs want to share their culture with everyone. It's for open for every single culture out there, yeah. We welcome every single one. And organizers say they just want to make it bigger and better for everyone. So this year they actually added a carnival and rides for all the children and of course the adults who want to take place on that. Tonight there will be fireworks at 9 o'clock. Sunday is when they have their parade that goes through town. And I want to tell you all of this is free. It won't cost you to get into the gates. All the food they give you is free. Those carnival rides are free. They just want everyone to experience their culture. Reporting live in New the city. Michelle Bandor, KCRA 3 News. Well, that is pretty amazing. Just like that beautiful sunset behind you there, Michelle. It's just a great setting out yes. there. Tonight.